hope you're all having a great week. I'm very sorry I haven't put up a vlog in a really long time. It's been about probably two or three weeks. Um, I've been really busy, and for a short stint there, I was sick. So I haven't put up one in a really long time. But for today's vlog, I wanted to talk about the idea of the man box and the definition of a man today and my thoughts on it. I just watched uh, that TED Talks about the man box and I I was really moved by it in the sense that I agreed with a lot that the presenter had to say in, in the fact that the man box does nothing for men, puts them between a rock and a hard place in that sense. They're not learning anything, they're not going to go anywhere and it's only setting men up to feed into patriarchy. It ignites patriarchy. The idea of the man box puts men on top and women on the bottom. And what he says about his son coming up to him and crying and um, he scolds him and sends him to his room. But then when the daughter comes up and cries, he invites her to his knee and he consoles her and he sees what's wrong and he works out a solution but I feel that the way men are portrayed by society as strong-willed no crying aloud all this stuff always no emotion have to be very objective all of the time that means that when women are not being subjective and are allowed to express emotion and are are not seen as strong because of that then that puts them below men right off the bat when a man sees that a woman is is crying is expressing emotions is feeling bad is having a bad day and all this stuff that is admitting to men that women are weaker and that's not the case the case is in reality we all want an equal world we all want the same things but with this idea of the man box and how men need to be strong and no crying loud and no emotion and they always have to be the hard the rock in the relationship is just something that sets men up to believe and fuel patriarchy. I'm not saying that women aren't part of patriarchy. I'm saying that the idea of the man box just sets men up to believe in, in patriarchy. And I feel that the man box needs to be abolished before patriarchy can be abolished. The man box sets us all up as men to commit to patriarchy because of the way we are supposed to be viewed by society. It allows us to breathe, eat, sleep, patriarchy, I guess. And that is my point for today. I hope the men that watch men this that watch this understand that the man box is a is a myth and it, you shouldn't believe in it and you shouldn't allow yourself to fall into that trap because it's just not true. Something about it allows us to be seen as superior when we are really not. Everyone in this world is equal. And the man box and the idea behind the man box subconsciously tells us that we are better than women because we don't express emotions. We are the rock in the relationship. We are strong when we really shouldn't have to be. When I'm not, I cry all the time. I express my emotions all the time. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Now, I've been accused of not being able to be manly, but I just choose to live that way. And I think that most men, if they decided to abolish the idea of the man box and the 
the lack of emotion and the, the lack of crying and all that stuff would be healthier and your relationships would be healthier. So that's my idea for today's vlog. Abolish the man box and see what happens. Become. Become who you want to be. Don't live by the idea of the man box. If we all became who we wanted to be, I think it'd be a much more equal society, right? So become who you want to be as opposed to living behind the silly idea of the man box. That is my idea for today's vlog. And I hope uh, you enjoyed it. I love you all for watching. I will see you soon. I'm not, I promise I won't um, be gone for so long. For those of you who enjoy my vlogs, I won't be gone for long next time. So I love you all. Uh, leave your comments below. Subscribe if you'd like. See you soon. Holy lives of an empty heart and overflow.